4.0. Um, what is that about? Um, well, I can tell you, um, but that's something that, that drives me. Um, and not only me, um, because what I learned again on this electronica, um, it is something everybody is working on. Um, Industry 4.0, um, as far as I understand, we understand it means a transition of the way how we produce products nowadays, and it means also a linking. And that's also what you see here on the picture. It's a basic link between the production process and the world of connected things. There's another word that you hear, or another term that you hear pretty frequently, um, that is the, the Internet of Things. Um, and one of the technologies um, that was also at the root of the Internet of Things concept, and this is as well um, on the Industry 4.0 concept, that is RFID. RFID is something we're going to take a little bit closer look up on um, uh, very soon. That will be done by a colleague of mine. But I still want to tell you a little bit more about Industry 4.0 because another point, another topic for Industry 4.0, another key concept is the concept of cyber physical uh, systems. So, wow, cyber physical system, um, that is a heavy one. But it's in fact uh, very simple. If you take a look at the world, uh, at the world and also at the world, it basically cons uh, consists of two elements. That is the cyber part and the physical part. So the physical part, that are our objects. Um, that are the things that are around us or that are the things that are produced. In um, the case of electronics, it's a PCB like this one, for instance. That's where um, all the electronics start with. Um, and then there's the cyber part, that's the data part. So that means all the data that we process about um, objects, um, that means also technologies like, like cloud computing, like big data, uh, like uh, um, also uh, artificial intelligence. So Internet of Things um, and Industry 4.0, it's about linking these two worlds. It's linking the things we have in our uh, real world, in our physical world, to the virtual world, to the data world. But this is, of course, needs a purpose. And the purpose is to learn more about the objects, to know where they are, and to improve the way how we create things, how we um, process things. And let's not uh, forget these things uh, also will, will, be, or will come to an end of life. So it's also about what can we do better when, when products are out of, um, um, out of service, when products are done, um, when they're destroyed. Um, so it means Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 can help us to even improve here, can help us to drastically reduce the waste stream and transform this linear uh, society and this, this linear way of thinking into a circular way of thinking. But it needs to start somewhere. And the start is right here on the PCB. The start is in the physical world. Well, first of all, we said we want to learn more about our objects. Um, and here, I just, um, you will find the, the concept of the four essentials of um, Industry 4.0. Because if we want to learn more about our objects, um, we need always to bring these four essentials into a well-working system. So these essentials are first sensing. Sensing means feeling, so that means the objects uh, need a sensor or need several sensors attached in order to give us information about their condition, about their environment. The next thing is then already on that level, and that's the second essential, we need software because we need to process this, this sensing data. Very important um, is the next topic, that's energy efficiency. I mean, if we want to, to, to uh, operate electronic systems, we need energy. So we need a supply of energy, we need a source of energy, and that is our essential number three. And uh, well, um, we all know it. Most of the resources we utilize for energy pr production are uh, at, at some time um, exhausted. So uh, we need to also deliver systems 
that um, use as less energy as possible. And that's meant by energy efficiency. And imagine all this world, interconnected world, with many, many things that now have sensors, have sensor nodes, have um, electronical functions added to them. Uh, they will consume more energy. So that is a key topic also for um, all the industry um, 4.0 approaches. And it's a key topic for the Internet of Things because without energy, all these will not work. And we have great technologies here. We have, um, uh, we have wireless power at Murata. So we can realize, ha have our customers to realize a wireless charging system. Plus we can also deliver um, the energy um, storage system in the sensor node. So that can be a battery, um, that can be a capacitor with, with high capacity. Um, and last but not least, that can be also um, an energy harvesting system. Um, energy harvesting is also a technology that we utilize uh, in RFID. But we, we'll, as I said, we'll come to that a little bit later. Um, so that means we have now our data about our objects. We know probably the temperature, the ambient temperature, the uh, environmental temperature of our PCB. Um, we have the energy here at the object, but uh, of course then we need to uh, transmit this energy and, and bring it to our uh, cloud system where it will be processed, where it will be gathered and give, it, give us more information and help us to understand uh, our object much better. So that means we need a secure wireless link. And now we are at essential number four. Um, that uh, means um, we need to transmit the data on, the, on a secure way from our object um, up to the cloud or up to the fog computing system and, and vice versa. Very important about all these approaches is always interaction. Uh, that means interaction with our customers because if we deliver solutions, that needs to be solutions um, that help uh, our customers, our clients, to solve these problems they're having, um, they're facing nowadays, in, and enable them to become even better producers, even better manufacturers, uh, even better OEMs, and, and ship uh, even better products um, to their uh, end customers, to their clients. Um, also to us because we utilize mobile phones and all these, these products out of the electronic uh, uh, manufacturing chain every day. So um, coming back to the term cyber physical system, um, now we, we are going to take a look, look into the system itself. So uh, um, uh, we, we enter um, the, the, the realm of the objects. Um, we want to create smart objects. So what does a smart object mean? Well, taking a look at, again here at this PCB, that means uh, we want uh, to, to provide some intelligence to it. And of course, uh, um, in order to realize Internet of Things, we need to also add a communication address to it. And the best technology to do so is RFID. Why is that so? And what is RFID? Well, RFID is uh, abbreviation for radio frequency identification. Um, that means we utilize a wireless communication um, technology in order to um, connect to our um, physical object. Um, all the energy for the communication uh, is coming from our reader writers that we utilize, so it's coming from the infrastructure. That means we don't need power on the object side. So that means we can identify our object and RFID also enables us to store data at the object. So we have some user memory where we can store some uh, additional information. Moreover, um, there is technology to, to integrate also um, uh, sensing uh, sensors into an RFID system. That means we could also gather information about um, the situation of, of our um, uh, physical object. So it means temperature, moisture, um, and, and other information that uh, are essential and are important uh, about uh, this physical object. And now I would like to um, show you or uh, introduce a colleague of mine uh, to you. He will tell you about very smart ways how to 
integrate RFID into objects, so how to create smart objects in the physical world in order to enable them to connect and to link to the factory of the future and to connect to the Internet of Things. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let me introduce uh, our um, very unique tag, RFID tags for uh, um, smart object. Um, we, Murata, is proposing a very tiny, robust RFID tags for um, smart tags like uh, uh, everything, like watch, um, toy, smart toy, um, cosmetic, something like that. Uh, let me show an uh, actual product. For example, um, this product is uh, our uh, smallest product. Um, and uh, very tiny and uh, very robust and possible withstand uh, um, injection molding process. So you can embed it inside plastic product as well. And also you can readable by uh, mobile uh, reader lighter. So you can identify, trace your product from your production to in the market as well. Um, this is also another example, um, watch. Uh, we are also proposing a very really unique um, technology, a unique tiny tag for metal product. So in generally, um, uh, difficult to uh, put the RFID tag on the metal condition, but we are proposing a very really unique tiny tag for um, these uh, metallic uh, watch as well. In the end, uh, we are uh, proposing a very various kind of uh, RFID tags for various kind of applications. So, if you have any um, interest on your product for RFID, please contact Murata and check Murata website. Thank you very much for your time.